Greetings from all of us Catholics. We are delighted to have you return to our channel. I hope you have a wonderful day in Christ. Let us pray to Mother Mary before we begin today's message, I dedicate my soul to you, Mother Mary, the adored daughter of God the Father. Mom. Keep God's life alive in your heart. Don't let sin cost you your life. Please keep my mind and will clear so that you will be pleased with all of my aspirations. Glory be to you, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is near. Jesus, the fruit of your womb, is also blessed. Blessed are you among women, Mother of God, Holy Mary, intercede for these sinners both now and at the moment of their death. Indeed. To ensure you don't miss any updates, we hope you like this movie and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come along for the ride as you watch this film through to the very finish. The world and the United States are about to face impending threats and tragic calamities that the Virgin Mary has sent a sincere and urgent message about to her beloved children. This message emphasizes the need for deep introspection, steadfast faith, and spiritual preparation. In her opening remarks, Mary blesses her children, encourages them to carry on with their spiritual development, and offers them to her and her Holy Son, Jesus, for protection. Mary stresses how crucial it is to continue praying all the time, especially the Hail Mary. She portrays the Rosary as a potent defense against evil forces that can offer comfort, safety, and tranquility. Every Hail Mary, every prayer, and every mystery pondered over is a step toward divine compassion and a cry for assistance that ascends to heaven and down in the shape of blessings and spiritual fortitude. She emphasizes that family and community prayer is important, and she encourages her kids to recite the rosary at home every day and to share this devotion with their friends and neighbors. This activity creates a collective barrier against the evil endangering the globe in addition to strengthening individual faith. The message of the Virgin Mary emphasizes how the world is about to face great challenges and sufferings, especially for the United States and Mexico. These occurrences will put many people's faith and tenacity to the test, signaling the start of a very difficult time. She claims that the heavens will appear to flare up, then become dark, and that whole countries, including our dear U.S., may be consumed by purging fires. In this bleak scenario, Mary exhorts her children to hold fast to their faith, own up to their mistakes, and offer up sincere prayers for nations hit by natural disasters, wars, and other misfortunes. It is vital to be spiritually vigilant and to provide consolation and support to those who are going through similar difficulties. Mary's message is a strong exhortation to turn to God right away and without conditions. She stresses that repentance, acts of charity, and a return to God's gracious love are all necessary in this spiritual journey. This change is a long-term, committed process that calls for humility, tenacity, and devotion rather than a transient state. She exhorts her kids to acknowledge their wrongdoings and engage in intense prayer, calling on angels and saints for protection and reciting the rosary as a potent intercession tool. This inner upward road takes one from death to everlasting life, from servitude to freedom, and from darkness to light. Mary urges her kids to hold fast to their faith in the face of chaos and devastation. She warns her children of the difficulties ahead but gives them hope that they can overcome them by having faith. She exhorts them to spread love in a world where apathy has taken hold in many people's hearts by serving as messengers of hope and blessings for one another. The Virgin Mary emphasizes the value of owning up to mistakes and offering prayers for impacted nations, particularly those dealing with natural disasters and armed war. During this critical time in human history, it is imperative that we stand by one another, practice spiritual vigilance, and offer consolation to those who are experiencing a spiritual abyss. Mary asks her children to pray for peace, the forgiveness of sins, and the defense of families, reaffirming her unwavering intercession and protection. 
She stresses that praying, especially the Hail Mary, can offer supernatural protection and grace during times of uncertainty and gloom. By calling upon Mary's intercession and the Lord's grace, every Hail Mary and every mystery reflected upon is a step toward divine mercy. She exhorts her kids to keep praying together because it creates a strong chain of hope and faith that has the ability to alter the course of events. Her offspring are guided and shielded from harm by this spiritual unity, which shines brightly in the darkness. In addition to encouraging her children to recite the rosary together, spread the practice, and act with kindness and charity, Mary's message also includes a call to action. In a fear and indifference-filled world, these deeds are essential to bolstering faith and helping others. She emphasizes the significance of being a living example of kindness, encouraging others, supporting the downtrodden, and lending a hand to those in need. The Virgin Mary exhorts her children to partake in the sacraments, live in a condition of grace, and spiritually get ready for the hardships that lie ahead. Regular confession, attendance at Holy Mass, and communion are all part of this preparation, and they are boundless resources of grace and defense. Mary highlights the value of having faith in God's unending mercy and protection throughout her entire sermon. She gives her kids comfort in knowing that she and Jesus are always there to guide and protect them, even at the worst of circumstances. This faith in divine providence is essential to overcoming what lies ahead. Mary ends by pleading with her kids to pray more, pray with genuine faith and dedication, and gather as a community. She requests that they stand by one another and serve as each other's lights in the dark. Her message serves as a reminder that God's grace is enough to keep them afloat in every situation and that His love is stronger than any misfortune. Mary's message is an appeal for a deep spiritual awakening as well as a warning. She exhorts her kids to live in a state of grace and to understand the urgent need for conversion. This entails abiding by God's instructions, receiving the sacraments, and developing qualities that draw people nearer to God. She encourages her kids to reflect on their life and make big adjustments to their behavior and attitudes by taking them on a voyage of self-discovery and introspection. She highlights that spiritual transformation is an ongoing, unbroken process that calls for commitment, tenacity, and humility. Mary draws attention to the sacrosanct habit of reciting the rosary and the effectiveness of intercession. She explains it as a link of love that binds heaven and earth and offers suffering souls safety, solace, and tranquility. Every prayer is a loving gesture that ascends to heaven and returns bearing a wealth of rewards. She emphasizes how crucial it is to keep up this holy ritual, pray in families' homes, and share this devotion with friends and neighbors. This group prayer for protection from evil builds the community's faith and unites its members. Mary ends her message with a motherly promise of her steadfast love and defense. She asks her kids to hold fast to their faith, become ready spiritually, and put their faith in God. She gives consolation and strength by being there as a loving mother who is prepared to pray for each of them. She reassures them that Jesus Christ has already promised the ultimate victory and that God's love is stronger than any hardship. They will conquer all of their obstacles if they have faith, commitment, and the strength of prayer. Mary pledges to be there for her kids at all times, offering them guidance, defense, and prayer. To sum up, the urgent message of the Virgin Mary is one of spiritual alertness, readiness, and firm confidence. She stresses the value of repentance, conversion, and charitable deeds in addition to the efficacy of prayer especially the Holy Rosary. She urges her children to put their faith in divine providence and stick together in prayer and faith even in the face of impending threats and tragic disasters. We appreciate your patience as you watch the entire video. What do you think about the subject of today? If you would like to be notified when a new video is released, please click the bell icon and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.